All right, this is setting up the amp tank. Um, you might notice when you get it that these O-rings seem like they're too loose of a fit, um, but when everything is together and the Addy's in, it's all put together, it, uh, it all tightens up well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is choose an Addy and get it topped up with liquid to the point that you can vape it um, that way when you get it in the tank you're not going to spend some of your juice in the tank getting the Addy primed up. Once you've got the Addy that you want to use you're going to grab either a drip tip or cardo filler that can pass easily through the o-ring, the inner o-ring in the top cap and you're going to take some of the liquid that you want to use and put a, f a thin layer um, so that there's a thin film on the tube and it so it can pass through that um, center o-ring, inner o-ring in the top cap easily and uh, allows it to uh, move back and forth in that o-ring. So once you uh, put some liquid on the outside of the Addy tube, you're going to put your Carter filler or drip tip in and insert that into the top cap evenly and smoothly. And then make sure that the Addy can spin in the top cap freely. Next thing you're going to want to do is get that Addy top of the Addy tube flush with the uh, top cap. Make sure that it's not below the top cap. And then you're going to take your glass and you're going to push the glass evenly onto the top cap. Make sure that the glass is flush with the top cap all the way around and that you didn't pinch any of the o-ring. Next thing you want to do to get the tank and atomizer in position for filling is you want to take your bottom piece with the uh, connector and the bushing and push that piece onto the glass evenly. Make sure that the threads of the atomizer are uh, going towards the connector and that the Addy's in there straight and then you're going to push that piece into the tank and uh, you don't want to twist anything yet because you don't want to get the Addy uh, threaded in the connector just yet and then you want to make sure everything is flush again the bottom cap with the glass, the top cap with the glass the Addy will be pushed up a little bit. That's good. That means the Addy's in position for filling. You want to just give a slight uh, push on the Addy. Make sure that it's uh, butted up on the connector. And then what you're going to do is um, holding the glass and top cap here is remove this uh, bottom cap again and when you're removing any of the caps from the glass you can use a slight rocking motion but do not pry on the caps because it could break the glass so once you've got something looking like that you're going to take the liquid that you're using and you're going to want to go ahead and fill up the tank and you're going to want to fill it to just about the around the where the air holes are not quite to the threads and just about to the top of the uh, the base of the connector there before the threads so it should look something like that giving enough space for this narrow part of the top cap to go in the glass once you've got that set um, you want to hold the bottom cap and glass so that when you put this on it doesn't push uh, the cap out of the glass and you're going to again insert the bottom cap into the tank. Make sure that everything's flush again, um, that it didn't push anything out such as the top cap. Everything's 
flush and before turning it uh, right side up keeping it upside down you're going to hold the, the top cap and spin this grommet this bushing and uh, what this is going to do is it's going to start to thread the atomizer into the connector you can see the connector is turning in there and it's going to eventually thread the atomizer in and start to spin the addy. When the addy starts to spin like that, it means that the addy is seated as much as it needs to be. If you uh, start to, if, if you tighten this addy any more than the bushing can tighten it, um, it you're going to have a hard time adjusting the feed. So just use the bushing to tighten the Addy until it starts to move and then you know it's fully tightened. When you got it all put together like that, you can go ahead and flip it right side up and uh, what you're looking for is a, a little gap there between the liquid and the top cap. As you can see, the, it's that air bubble in there. It doesn't quite go all the way around, but you want something close to that. So once you've got the tank um, filled up, uh, I want to show you how to just go over briefly about threading it on the device that you're using, um, about how the tank feeds, and how to adjust the rate of feed, and also how to refill the liquid in the tank. So if you notice in the connector here on the tank, there are two holes and those are not functional so if you um, go ahead and thread the tank on your device and it is flush this bushing is flush with the the device um, that's okay as long as it makes connection if the tank is threaded on flush with uh, the device and it doesn't make connection um, it probably means that there's uh, too much of a recess um, on the device and you, you might need a uh, 510 connection to raise uh, the tank up a little bit and then uh, you can go ahead and re-thread it on that 510 to 510 adapter and that should um, lift the tank up enough to allow it to thread um, on your device so it makes connection. Um, to adjust the rate of feed um, from the tank to the Addy. You can, while holding the top cap, you can rotate the bottom cap, the bottom uh, cap and bushing in either direction to spin the 510 connection on the, um, in the tank, and that will open or close the gap between the Addy and the 510 connection. If you open the gap, you're going to be feeding more liquid, both automatically and manually. And if you close the gap, you're going to be feeding less liquid, both automatic and manually. If uh, you find you need more liquid, you can feed it manually by covering this air hole in the bushing and drawing air through the Addy until you create uh, a vacuum and you can feel that there, you, if you pull air through the Addy while covering this hole, you'll feel it start to tighten up. And once you've got it, um, some vacuum, once you've got some vacuum going on in there, you can go ahead and uh, pop your finger off of the hole and that will allow um, liquid to uh, pull in from the tank uh, to the Addy. Um, there are uh, a couple different ways that I found you can uh, remove your finger from the air hole in the bushing. Um, so you can either pull vacuum and hold it there for a second and just pop your finger off while still pulling vacuum and it'll pull juice or uh, I like to uh, create the vacuum and then kind of roll my finger off the air hole um, and that seems to work best for me because sometimes I get if I'm pulling vacuum too much and I just release my thumb off the uh, 
bushing really fast. It pulls juice up through the addy really fast and I, I get a little splatter. Um, so if you, you can you can try both ways. There's really no set way to or one way to feed the tank. You can experiment a little bit with uh, the auto feed and adjusting and the uh, manual feed to get a combination that works best for you. Uh, so there's a lot of versatility um, with the amp tank. Uh, the last thing I want to go over is how to refill the liquid in the tank. So if you want to top up the tank or if you're out of liquid, you want to kind of do a reverse uh, procedure of when you first filled the tank. You want to turn the tank, uh, unthread the tank from your device, uh, turn the tank upside down, and you want to hold on to this uh, bo uh, top cap and glass, and you're going to just rotate the bushing, unthreading the Addy from the 510 connection, and you're going to rotate it um, a few times. Make sure that as you're rotating uh, this bushing, you're not pushing the top cap out of the glass uh, accidentally because then you'll have uh, an accident and uh, liquid will start pouring out. So keep on threading um, until you can remove the bottom cap and bushing and then you have access to the tank and you can go ahead and refill um, up to the uh, top of the uh, connector on the Addy there or refill as, as much as you need to no higher than um, what was outlined in the startup video and then once you've got it filled up you want to insert the bottom um, cap and bushing. Make sure again that the Addy is straight and butted up against the connector and that the caps are flush with the glass and you can go ahead and tighten the connector and that will uh, start to thread the atomizer into the connection again. You want to watch for the Addy spinning. That means it's tight enough. And then you're all set to go. Um, I will make a more detailed video as I hear some feedback and maybe uh, get some tips or tricks. Um, so I'll, I'll be sure to post that up in a bit. Um, but for now, uh, get used to um, you know, feeding and refilling and find a method that works good for you and, and have some fun.